Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this speed tip today is for all of you rich folks out there, but it will give you a significant performance increase, especially on boot up times and hard drive access times. I'm talking about investing in a solid state hard drive. Now, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. It's very easy to do, so let me go ahead and uh, move my search bar. I do have a browser open. I'm going to keep it open the right-hand side here and select the Start button, and we're going to type in Device Manager to the uh, search bar, and we're going to go and select the Device Manager on the Control Panel, and uh, just select the drop-down next to Disk Drives, and this will give you the part number of your particular hard drive. Mine is a Samsung HM320HJ. So I'm going to select the... Uh, the search bar here and I'm going to do a Google search for the HM320 HJ and what we're looking for here is what kind of interface your hard drive has. Now I'm going to select the Newegg.com uh, result that I have come up and what you're looking for is you're looking for, uh, let me scroll down here, there is a interface option and mine says it's a SATA 3.0 gigabytes per second. Now I can use this information to locate a solid state hard drive that will work with my computer. Now, it usually is not worth the investment to upgrade in RPMs. There's actually been studies that have shown that higher RPM drives don't always result in higher read and write times. So I would say that that's more of a gimmick. But solid state drives are extremely fast compared to uh, uh, rotating 7200 RPM drives. So let me take that interface there. Yours might say IDE. Yours might say uh, SATA 6.0 gigabytes per second or SATA 2 6.0 gigabytes per second but we'll use that information to find ourselves a solid state drive at Newegg believe it or not so let me go ahead and maximize this window and I want you guys to go to www.newegg.com and then when this website comes up under computer hardware just scroll down to hard drives and on the left hand side there's a section called SSD so go ahead and select that and what we're looking for is select the advanced search here so that you can use the drop downs here and under interface type we want to select SATA in my case, and you're going to select whatever interface you have. So I'm going to select SATA and select search. And here I'm greeted with a list of solid state hard drives that are available for my laptop. Now as you can see, there aren't very many, and that's pretty common because SATA drives are kind of having trouble, I'm sorry, solid state drives are kind of having trouble catching on because of the, look on the right hand side here, price point. That's right, a 16 gigabyte serial ATA solid state hard drive is approximately $170. And that's actually a reasonable price. If you scroll down a 32 gigabyte here, which isn't even available for purchase right now, is $120. So yes, you will get an extraordinarily uh, fast hard drive increase in speed, uh, but you know, is it really worth it? That's the, that's the real question. So that's how you upgrade your computer to a solid state drive. Now remember, if you buy a solid state drive, you're going to have to reinstall your operating system, reinstall all your software, and, and if you don't know how to do all that, you might want to you know, shy away from this tip as well. But this is for what you hardcore uh, enthusiasts who really want to kind of max out the potential of your computer. Uh, increasing the hard drive speed is, is one of the best ways to increase your boot up time and your reboot time, and a lot of studies have shown that to be very true. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by and uh, leave comments and ratings. If you have any questions, swing by the forum at pcmichiana.com and uh, I'll see if I can answer them for you. So thanks again.